There shouldn't be anything dangerous about going to watch a game of football, but in April 1989, 96 Liverpool fans went to see a game at the Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, and it cost them their lives. They were crushed to death on the terracing behind the goal. It was an horrendous tragedy, and one which the victims' families have been campaigning about ever since. But on Thursday, they reached the end of the road, and it ended in bitter disappointment. Following a trial at Preston Crown Court, the former police commander David Duckenfield was found not guilty on the charge of gross negligence manslaughter for 95 of those supporters. It is now unlikely that anyone will ever be found responsible for those deaths. Duckenfield was the senior officer in charge of crowd safety that day and it was he who gave the order to open a large exit gate to relieve a crush of fans outside the ground. But that caused an even greater problem as around 2,000 supporters streamed through the gate into a tunnel and down into two pens behind the goal which were already dangerously overcrowded. World Sports' Alex Thomas joins us from the town of Preston where the trial concluded on Thursday. Alex, thanks for being with us. How would you describe the emotion of the families who were there in court today? Don, there was clearly dismay and anguish among the relatives of those 96 people who died 30 years ago. They've been fighting for justice for a long time and their reaction was plain when David Duckenfield was pronounced not guilty. He was only standing trial for the deaths of 95 of those 96 because of a legal technicality over when one of the victims died, which was over several years later. Um, but those who were dismayed were not just the relatives here at Preston Crown Court behind me, but the many more who were watching via video link back in Liverpool. And it was, of course, Liverpool fans going to that semi-final match against Nottingham Forest in the neutral venue of Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield back in 1989, who simply went to watch a game of football and never came home. And amongst those reacting after the verdict was Margaret Aspinall, who's the chair of the Hillsborough Family Support Group and who lost her son, James, in the tragedy. The question I'd like to ask all of you, um, people within a system, then who put the 96 in their graves? Who is accountable for 96 unlawfully killed? What a disgrace this has been today. And what a shame on this country of ours. I feel so embarrassed. It's worth noting that of the 96 who died and whose names get read out year after year, there were sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, 25 fathers and a mother. And the youngest victim, Dom, was only 10 years old. Alex, this is such a complicated case, but one thing is now very hard to understand, because if these fans were unlawfully killed, which was the ruling from a previous inquest, how can nobody be responsible for the deaths? Because that inquest was the longest in British legal history, lasting more than two years. Um, but it's different to a criminal trial, which is what this was at Preston Crown Court, lasting just seven weeks, much more combative here. And the jury was asked to disregard all previous findings. Let me read you out what the Crown Prosecution Service said, the UK's public prosecutors, in other words, uh, and they had this to say. The not guilty verdict today does not affect or alter the inquest jury's findings of unlawful killing or their conclusion that Liverpool fans were in no way responsible for the 96 deaths that resulted. We are acutely aware of how disappointing the verdict is for families who have waited anxiously for today. However, we respect the decision of the jury. Let's leave the last word with Jenny Hicks, who lost her two teenage daughters in the tragedy. Whenever we've had disappointments in the past, mm. we've always had somewhere else to go. Today we haven't. I, we have I, yeah. nowhere else to take this. This is it. We're going to have yeah. to live the rest of oh, our lives with this injustice. Don, that's the end of the legal road. 96 people died at a football game unlawfully and no one will ever be found criminally responsible.